Hey there, Patrick here from the .NET Web Academy and you can already see it on the screen. In .NET 9, we get the new hybrid cache library. Now, is it the fastest? Well, let's see. In this video, I wanna start uh, or run a benchmark of no cache or using no cache, using the distributed cache, using the uh, memory cache and now the hybrid cache and then we'll see uh, what's the best one for your scenario, but what you can already see here in the new documentation of uh, what's new in .NET 9 is that with the hybrid cache, it bridges some gaps in the existing distributed cache and memory cache APIs, and also its new features like stampede protection to prevent parallel fetches of the same work. Stampede, honestly, I had to look this up. This just means that lots and lots of requests are coming and uh, well with the hybrid cache you're protected isn't it nice and also you have a configurable serialization because with uh, or in regards to the distributed cache serialization may take some time and uh, it can be complicated to use it as you can see here in this code example but it actually doesn't have to be that complicated and then with the hybrid cache as you can see here it it really looks straightforward you have your cache instance for instance instance for instance that's nice and then you just use the get or create async method with a key and then uh, you well you do whatever you want to do and store the result in the cache, right? So with that, it hopefully is way faster than, for instance, getting the data you want to get from the database every single time a user is requesting this thing. Now, of course, if uh, the data is changing a lot, then the cache doesn't make a lot of sense because in the cache you want to store something that does not tend to change lots of times. So anyways, I think you know what a cache is uh, when you're watching this video, but if not, I just uh, explained it to you, I hope. Anyways, let's have a look here at this example. I don't actually, I don't want to write something here, write something new, so it's not too boring. I just uh, prepared a little benchmarking console application as you can see here and very important if you want to use the code link in the video description then you have to use of course the dot nine preview download it install it and also the preview edition of visual studio as you can see here this is 17.11.0 preview 2.0 no update now which is surprising because sometimes well, well oftentimes it tends there tends to be a new version of visual studio every other day or so all right, now what you see here is I stole the some info key from documentation. We have this cache key, we have a service provider where we just add all the caches, memory distributed and the hybrid cache, brand new stuff. And then I wanna do the following, get data async. We simulate the delay of expensive data, expensive operation, whatever it is, uh, 50 milliseconds. And then we will see how long does it take to actually do that with no cache at all. So we just run get data async. Then we have a distributed cache, right? Then we have a memory cache and a hybrid cache. And as you can see here in the dependencies or maybe first in the project file, this is .NET 9. And here then you also see the dependencies. Of course, we need benchmark.net, the new hybrid cache, memory cache, and for the service collection, dependency injection. And as you can see here, um, this is Everything is dotted nine. The preview, by the way, if you want to try that yourself and you want to do that from scratch, make sure that when you are adding the NuGet packages that you check this thing here, include pre-release. If you don't do it, then you get some errors. And if you just forgot to do to check this, uh, then you're wondering maybe for a couple of minutes, if it's only minutes, why is this not working? Not saying that this happened to me, but maybe it did. Anyways, let's run this and I will of course edit this thing because this takes some time. So see you in a second. All right, and finally after quite some time that felt like an hour, but it was actually just one and a half minutes approximately, we see the result. And as you can see, no caching of course takes uh, the, the longest. As you can see here, we are in, uh, in uh, we're talking about nanoseconds here, but 62 milliseconds actually so our artificial delay of 50 plus returning the string 62 milliseconds but then you see more important maybe the distributed cache memory and hybrid memory is still the fastest all right with 54 nanoseconds in the mean 
83 for the hybrid cache and then the distributed cache with 102 nanoseconds. So this is what I told you, the no cache solution here, if your data changes frequently, you don't wanna use a cache that's not really beneficial, right? So maybe you uh, won't do that in this case, but for data that doesn't change a lot, then if you have a single instance application, then you might wanna use the memory cache. If you need this, or if you have a distributed app, then this thing uh, might make so more sense because your data is consistent in that case. But now with the hybrid cache, you can also use this thing. So you will also have a consistent uh, or can make sure that the data is consistent throughout your distributed uh, services, let's say. And you also again have the stampede protection and you can, can configure more stuff. Again, didn't wanna go into any details here. I don't know if it makes sense already before Dota 9 is out there actually. If you want, of course, please tell me in the comments. And uh, I hope this was interesting for you. And if you want to see the video, then of course, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This would really mean the world to me. So thank you very much for subscribing. And thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more, check out the videos here on the screen. Maybe you want to check out the .NET Web Academy for way more .NET and Blazor stuff. Thank you very much again. And I hope I see you next time. Take care.